so hello there my fellow developers and i hope you uh, like that intro at the beginning so in today's video we are going to take a look at font ligatures actually we are going to install them in visual studio code how how can we use them uh, so let's get started basically what are font ligatures are uh, then if you have double equals then they then basically it will match them and make a single equal longer if you have triple equals then it will make three equals like this longer okay there will be some images on the screen so let's get started so the first thing is you need to install some fonts okay um, so I have I know two fonts basically so uh, I know two fonts with font ligatures so I'm quickly going to copy and paste the links of those two fonts so that you can uh, basically see so one is Fira code which is very very popular uh, among uh, the font ligatures and the other one is Cascadia code which has just released a couple of weeks I think a couple of weeks ago and you can just read out this uh, readme file okay Fira code free mono spaced uh, font with programming ligatures so you can see if you do exclamation marks and equals it will give you this kind of uh, font then the arrows will be like this plus plus will be like this uh, colon equals like okay so that looks better okay make your code look stylish and in Cascadia code it's it's by Microsoft and in my opinion both of these fonts are great and I like to use both of these fonts time by time because I'm I cannot stick to one thing okay so Cascadia code and yeah I can't show you the installation of Cascadia code because I have it installed when I install Windows terminal so this is how it looks like it's just a terminal but uh, a refreshed kind of terminal and it uses this Cascadia code font and it's basically in comes installed with uh, Windows terminal so I could not uninstall it basically so let's minimize it and now special thanks to you can see from Cascadia code you get uh, special thanks to Fira code okay and uh, nerd fonts then people who helped basically so now how to get their installation how to get the TTF or OTF or whichever font file is so basically you can read out this this is very very uh, this is a very good documentation or you can say uh, a very good readme file so it's given that uh, editor compatibility list you can have instructions we are going to use visual studio code and i think yeah here is here it is download fira code version 3.1 when you just click this link it will download a zip file basically that will be okay let it download and what about cascadia code well you can just go to the go to this page that they have given okay cascadia code slash releases and then you can just install your favorite font so i'm going to install some fonts like cascadia mono um let's take a look okay just cascadia mono i don't want to put my computer with fonts so now let's uh, show them in folder so as you can see we have a zip file and this font file let's go to the settings and let's go back on windows it's pretty easy to install fonts okay you can just open this file up you can just see how it looks like okay and then you can hit install but there's a better way you can just drag and drop the font here so that's what i'm going to do so let's uh let's put them side by side and let's unzip it basically so extract it and i'm gonna extract it here so yeah as you can see this is the folder so let's uh open this up in a new window it was opened up why we do this i don't know so okay 
now we have the OTF we have the TTF folder we have the OTF folder you can just take a look at the OTF fonts you can take a look at the TTF fonts okay I don't know what's the difference between them uh, but it's your choice now let me tell you that Vera code retina wait a minute let me make it large icons so the Spira code retina font where is it this is specifically for Mac OS I think to enable font languages on mac os so there are semi bold versions uh, medium versions light bold i'm just going to install the, the regular version okay so let's just drag and drop okay that will install the font i hope and let's go here so this is the font extra cascadia font that i want to install so let's go ahead drag and drop it here and now let's search for Pira code and I hope this works. Yeah, here it is. Pira code, Cascadia Mono. We also have Cascadia Mono. Now the question arises: How can you put them inside of uh, inside of? How can you use them in Visual Studio Code? So it's pretty easy. You just need to open up Visual Studio Code. So let's fire it up and. It's here okay and basically in Visual Studio Code what you need to do is you just need to go to settings okay so just go here or use the shortcut okay control comma and inside of settings you need to search for font family now if you are familiar with CSS this is how the font family in CSS looks like it's the same so uh, it's default on windows it's consola courier new and mono space okay so if this font will not be available then courier new will be picked up and if this one is not available then this one will be picked up let me zoom in so that you can see and basically you can just add a comma and then add one more font here so i'm going to add first of all i'm going to add pira code here okay make sure to add some quotes so that uh, there is a space between them and let's create a new file and let's change it to for example HTML and let's make it like this so this is how Fira code looks like okay uh, it looks great and then you can create some tags basically let's instead make it a JavaScript file so JavaScript Let's go to settings again so we added fira code here but then also we did not get any kind of font languages we did not see it okay if i do something like this i can see but i have i have a setting that is called font languages and this is set to true so you cannot you don't have a checkbox in this version i don't know why so what you can do is you can just uh, go ahead and click this and copy setting as json and then you can just click this thing open settings.json this will open up a settings file and basically this is set to true right now you can see if i remove it if i save the file and then if i do it's it's not giving me that okay it's not giving me anyway so if i go to settings it's not default again so we have copied that setting let's paste it anywhere you want but with a comma right here it's a json file okay so set it to true basically it will be false on on in your case because i copied that in a different way so it will be false in your case so make it true and then save that file and then you will be able to see these font languages like if i say um if hello is equal to hello then it's going to basically anything okay anything i don't know what to do hello is hello okay so now 
yeah that's it you can see this font like it just and you can uh, go to the documentation and then read more about it so now let's uh, change this again to font family and let's add a comma and let's add now cascadia code first yeah after that we'll try cascadia mono but first of all let's let's try cascadia code and let's go here and this is how this font looks like i like how this font looks like it's it's just amazing and it also has font languages like if i say not equals it will give me this kind of syntax and that looks better so let's see cascadia mono what's the difference basically i don't see any difference so i think cascadia mono is just a normal font without font languages that's great so let's set it back to cascadia code sometimes i'll use feeder code sometimes i'll use cascadia code even sometimes i'll use cascadia mono so don't worry about any font just think that which font do you like and then use that font inside of your code editor and as i told you i am not i can't stick to one theme i can't stick to one thing so i can't stick to one font okay and if you have many more font suggestions please leave them down in the comments below finally guys thanks for watching